It's a cabin in the woods. Only problem is, it's not supposed to be here in Dr. Jose Rizal Park. Even the signs make it clear. Hello, is anybody home? Where is the accountability? This is city land. Why not make an arrest for vandalism? So a homeless individual recently took over Seattle City Park. He is absolutely trashing the place. He's scaring all the residents and he does not want to move. And I'm talking big time. The place that he's living in is huge. It's like a four bedroom homeless place. All right, four bed, two bath. And he's expanding every single day. And Seattle doesn't want to remove him because they're super duper liberal. And they think that they think he's way better off living outside in the cold, in the elements, than being in an institution where he belongs. It is insane. Remove the man, please. Um, for trespassing. The cabin is the latest saga surrounding Steve Irwin, the homeless man who's facing criminal charges for digging up the hillside of the Seattle City Park with an excavator back in October. I mean, this is one single person destroying the East Duwamish Trail. One person over and over and over and over again. I forgot to mention that the guy's name is Steve Irwin. He is the alternate universe version of Steve Irwin. And instead of annoying animals like our universe, Steve Irwin, this Steve Irwin annoys humans. He's using this excavator to absolutely tear up this city park, ruining it for all the residents. Andrea Suarez is with We Heart Seattle. She's done homeless outreach, trying to get Irwin help and off the land that belongs to Seattle Parks and Recreation, but nothing's worked. He has job skills. He can run an excavator. He can build a home. He can install windows. Let's put him to work. Except he told me, I don't want to work. I want to be off the grid. And he told me, I don't want a home. And if I did have a home, I'd still have a cabin in the woods because he's just dead set on this is his right. And um, I don't, it's been hard to convince him otherwise, unfortunately. Oh, and guess what? This dude actually has skills. He's a skilled laborer. He knows how to run an excavator, clearly. He knows how to build a shitty home, clearly. He knows how to work. He just doesn't want to work. He wants to leech off the system for the rest of his life, probably do drugs, who knows? He needs to be institutionalized. Fox 13's cameras got an up close look at Irwin's cabin. I've done these five times, and, and, and now I'm tired of. You know what I mean? And it's like once I get like, this close to finishing something or something, then something happens. Irwin shared with Fox 13 this is where he plans to build his home. Other video shared with our station shows he's got a generator, books, electronics, and more multiple forms of fuel. He has gasoline, propane, kerosene. He has open air fires. Also, let's add in the fact that this guy's a pyromaniac. He probably has more stock in ExxonMobil than Warren Buffett. This guy has more items and fixtures than I do. He has like a generator. That's like 2000 bucks. He's oil rich and he's living like this. He enjoys living like this. He enjoys being a pest. He enjoys being selfish and ruining the city park for everyone. He enjoys being that guy. While Irwin acknowledges We Heart Seattle's help, he says no other agency other than law enforcement has come down to offer any type of assistance. He sticks himself. There's actually three different camps down there and nobody ever bothers us. Some people who use the trail inside the park say they don't mind Irwin's expanding footprint. But for Andrea Suarez, she says this cabin in the woods is a call to action for the mayor's office and for the city to step in. But some liberal residents well, let's be honest, 70% of the residents in Seattle enjoy his presence. They consider him a landmark, a national treasure, an endangered species. And aren't most of these liberals like vegans? This guy's out here killing squirrels, killing bunnies, eating them. Like, come on. And then there's Stephen and his safety. And when is you know, the ticking time bomb of a fire to erupt. It's a tragedy all around. And that was Fox 13's Dave Detlin reporting. And now Parks and Rec say that this is a police matter.